dogs under six months old and geriatric dogs are very susceptible to a very deadly disease, parvo. And we test all dogs under six months old at, before we even get them off the trail um, to ensure that we can not only take proper care of them, but also so that an outbreak doesn't happen in the show.
So this is a, a injured stray cat that came in on Monday. Um, we had quite a few cases that came in injured on Monday, so we were able to go ahead and start them on pain medication um, just in the meantime. And today we're going to actually um, probably sedate him and kind of get an idea of what injuries he has, um, probably take an x-ray. This room holds about has 50 cages, so we got lots of cats and kittens in this area. Um, like this little guy who was actually found on Interstate 10. Um, I'm not really sure how he got there, but he does have some superficial injuries on his face, but otherwise in good health. Um, he's about a pound and a half, so he's got a little a little ways longer to grow until he's big enough for neuter surgery. Um, sometimes when cats come in and they're too young, they'll actually go to foster care um, where they'll grow big enough to be spayed and neutered. But this guy's actually going to stay here with us um, probably for about a week while he gains a little bit more weight. Um, so look for him on the adoption floor soon. <laughs> It's a DTM, this is not highly suspicious. Um, we think it's some um, some kind of flea allergy, but we just want to rule it out. Um, so the DTM takes 10 days. Um, today's the third and the 13th is when it'll be up. Um, that's just the animal number, and that's just my initials. And um, we'll see you in 10 days with the results. shy you know the shelter environment is definitely a new experience for them it can be very stressful so we put them in the encouragement room because it's nice and quiet in here and you can get some socialization from our staff members from volunteers until they build up their confidence enough to go up for adoption go up to free rescue or you know, transfer out to another shelter so this is really a great place for dogs that are in transition that aren't quite ready for adoption that just needs a little bit more TLC before they're ready Six different binders. Um, we have lost male dogs, lost female dogs. We have found dogs, lost cats and other small animals, um, found cats, and then we have um, animals that were found deceased. Um, now, each of these binders has different tabs in it. Um, for all of our lost animals, we organize it by color. Um, so we have all the different color groupings for animals here. Um, and basically in these binders, we have a variety of different types of loss reports. So either ones that people have come into the shelter to file uh, with us. Um, we also pull loss reports off of Craigslist, um, different lost pet groups of Facebook, um, helpinglostpets.com. Uh, a lot of different social media sites where people post lost animals. So in these binders, we have combinations of lost reports that people have put out there. Um, it's our way of being proactive to try to match lost pets that might come into the shelter with people who are actually looking for them. And then um, on the other side of that, we also have animals that people uh, report found um, that we compare to our lost dogs in the bike.
to go through a behavior test to get an idea of their personality and how well they tolerate certain things, like having their personal space invaded, um, if they're good with meeting strangers or new dogs, and most importantly, how they are with resource guarding, which is if someone messes with their food or toys, or special treats. So that's what Herbie's gonna help us demonstrate real quick. We have Tiffany who is our behavior assessor and we're gonna see how Herbie does with resource gardening. So as you can see, he's very excited to get to the good stuff. Sit. Um, another thing that we do during our behavior assessments, which he just demonstrated, is get an idea of whether or not the dogs know things like basic commands, like sit, which Herbie seems to know, we also try and see if they might be potty trained and other things that will help them find their forever. Ramp doesn't park for you, does it, huh? <laughs> 